So yesterday, Alabama fans everywhere were rejoicing as it was finally announced that former Washington Huskies head coach Kalen DeBoer was set to take over for Nick Saban and become the next head coach at the University of Alabama. But there were some questions, namely on the defensive side of the ball, and I had my pick as to who I would like to see take over for defensive coordinator for the Tide, and it was none other than Travaris Robinson. However, today, news breaks, and it turns out that's not going to be happening as T-Rob is on his way to Georgia to become co-defensive coordinator of the Georgia Bulldogs. Today, we need to break this down. We need to talk about it and ask what comes next. Before we can, as always, y'all know the drill. I have got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you surprised T-Rob is leaving the University of Alabama? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below. But having said all that, Let's jump right into this. And first and foremost, yesterday when it was announced that Kalen DeBoer was the guy, I made my video, and in that video I talked about some of the questions and concerns I'd seen from Alabama fans. One such question and concern was what happens to the defensive side of the football. Kalen DeBoer is known for his incredible offenses, but Alabama has been known for their incredible defenses. Is that going to be able to sustain? Will they still have a physical brand defense that people try and emulate? I was hoping that would be able to continue, and the name I gave all of you that I would like to see at defensive coordinator was none other than Travaris Robinson, and there are several reasons for this. He understood the SEC landscape, he'd had defensive coordinator experience in the past, and he understood the roster at hand. He had coached these guys, he had worked with these guys, and he had just gotten done working with Nick Saban, and so I thought this could be a seamless transition. However, as reports have surfaced, that is not the case. Georgia gets an insane hire pulling T-Rob from Tuscaloosa to the Georgia Bulldogs. And let's talk about this, because not only was T-Rob a fantastic coach, where we can go back to even his days at South Carolina and talk about the development at hand. We can talk about what he did with these Alabama defensive backs who were otherworldly talented, but T-Rob was a fantastic mentor to them. But he's also an ace recruiter. I mean, this is a guy that Alabama would send out on the trail for everybody and anybody. And if you go on 24-7 Sports and look at the list of guys he's recruited, it's five-star after five-star, including names such as Caleb Downs and Jalen Mbakwe. So this is a move that surprises Alabama fans everywhere. This is a move that probably hurts Alabama fans everywhere. And if you are a Georgia Bulldog fan... I can imagine you're super excited, and why wouldn't you be? You just hired a phenomenal coach, a phenomenal recruiter, and someone who understands the SEC landscape, though that wasn't a concern at Georgia because you have Kirby, you have some of the guys there who've been around the SEC, but there's no arguing that this makes your defensive staff better. Having T-Rob makes anybody's defensive staff better. So this is a hit for the University of Alabama, and the natural question is, what comes next? Not only was T-Rob a guy I was hoping to be retained because I think he'd be a good defensive coordinator, I wanted T-Rob retained for some of the reasons I just talked about. He understands the landscape of the SEC, and Kalen DeBoer is a phenomenal coach, but this is his first job coaching inside the SEC. Having someone like T-Rob that knows these relationships, knows these coaches, and has those pre-existing relationships, that would have been massive for the Alabama Crimson Tide to be able to retain. So naturally, the question is, what comes next at defensive coordinator? And even though T-Rob had never even been announced officially as a defensive coordinator, Alabama fans everywhere were really hoping he would be the guy. So what needs to come next is Alabama has got to nail this defensive coordinator higher in order to try and keep the majority of this roster together. Remember, we talked about that's why it was so important that they expedite the searching process. And a big reason why Nick Saban told the team, give us seven two hours because they knew a decision needed to come sooner rather than later. Well, they did a phenomenal job in the coaching search. Hopefully that extends into the defensive coordinator search and we get news sooner rather than later because in today's age of college football with the transfer portal, that is a must and it must be a great hire, not only in terms of his ability to be a defensive coordinator, a defensive coach, but also in his ability to understand the SEC landscape and be an ace recruiter. So, I can't wait to hear from all of you. There's no question this is going to dampen the spirits of Alabama fans everywhere who were riding such a high yesterday after it was announced that Kalen DeBoer was the head coach, but so many in the Alabama fan base were hoping that T-Rob would be the guy to at the very least be retained. That doesn't seem to be happening. So can't wait to hear from you. Let me know who you'd like to see at defensive coordinator. There are several names we could throw out, but interested in hearing from all of you. We'll be meeting again very shortly to talk about any news coming down the pipeline. 
That's it. See ya.